Hi friends, so today we're doing this really dramatic look, definitely night makeup. For this one I drew my inspiration from a picture that Makeup Geek posted on their Pinterest page and on their website. So because there wasn't a tutorial to go along with this photo, I thought I would make one up for myself and hopefully recreate this look. So for this look, I used only the eyeshadows from the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette. It's my favourite palette and definitely my prized possession. So just keep watching if you want to find out how to do this. So to start off, I'm taking the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So you want to cover all of the area that you're going to be putting any eyeshadow on. So I'm pretty much taking this all the way up to my eyebrow and also out here where I'm going to be blending out. I'm just making sure that's properly blended. Just to set underneath my eyebrow I'm using my Anastasia contour kit. So I'm just using the lightest shade. So now I'm going to start off with our Makeup Geek Mini MUA palette. So I'm just going to be grabbing a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush or the E40. And I'm going to first take Beaches and Cream out of this palette. I'm just going to cover my crease area pretty much all over my eyelid. So now taking the middle shade Sora. I'm just going to use that as a transition colour. So just on the crease, really lightly, and I'm going to take mine out a little bit. And just really blend that in nicely. And don't worry too much about being really neat here because you can clean it up later. So now I'm taking this really dark shade Mars here and I'm using this e.l.f. blender brush because it's a lot more dense. So I'm going to be packing the colour into the outer corner of the lid. And it's a really pigmented colour, so I'm trying to be really careful about where I put it. And really packing it on. I'm kind of blending it as I go, but I will take another blending brush that's a bit bigger and blend it out once I've packed it all on. Because my eyelids are so hooded, I need to lift my eyebrows to make sure I get everything, including where the crease is. You might want to do that as well, just so you make sure you're getting it completely everywhere and you're not going to end up having lines where you haven't got any of your eyeshadow. So I'm taking that pretty far in. And I'm also going to take that up a bit, like I did with the transition colour. So now I'm taking the darkest colour, Aphrodite. And I'm just packing that into the outer corner and blending it in. Just to give a little bit more depth. But 
but you don't want to pack it on too much. Now on the same brush, I'm going to take more of that red Mars colour and put that on top. Now I'm going to take that E40 again and just blend it ever so gently. So now going into the inner corner of the eye, I'm taking a MAC 228 brush, just a small precision brush, and I'm going into the lightest colour in the palette, which is Artemis. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the brush. So I'm just going to spray that with some MAC Fix Plus. So I'm putting that into the inner corner of my eye, taking it down a little bit, and then cutting across and putting it onto this little part of the lid here and blending it slightly onto Mars, the red colour. Pretty much almost cut creasing it here. And just blending it in. Just going to put a fraction more. So I've just cleaned my e.l.f. blending brush with this Artiste Manicure uh, brush cleaner. I can get this from Priceline and it's quite cheap. Works pretty well but it does have a lot of an alcohol scent so it depends what you prefer. But it's really good to make sure you're cleaning your brushes in between uses and sometimes even between shadows just so everything's nice and hygienic. So I'm taking Mars again with that brush and blending these two colours together. And you get this really nice red shade with a bit of shimmer from Artemis. I'm also going to use a clean 228 brush again and grabbing that light shade again and putting a little bit under the eyebrow as the highlight. So that's the top lid done. To tightline and waterline I've used the MAC Cold Power Eye Pencil in Feline. And now to smudge it out, I'm using this cheap eyebrow brush that I just got from a drugstore. And because it's so thick, it's really good for blending underneath the waterline. So I'm taking Aphrodite, the dark colour again, and I'm just going to blend it out here. And don't worry about being too precise because I'm going to pack it with another colour on top. Don't worry about being too precise because I'm going to pack another colour on top. So don't worry about it being too neat and tidy because you can fix it up with the concealer when you go on to do the rest of your face. So now after cleaning the MAC 228 Precision Brush, I'm going to use that to pack this really cool dual chrome colour Insomnia. It's a really cool brown blue. I'm going to pack that right on top of the last colour that we did. So I'm putting it on the brush and then again I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on it.
and I'm taking that fairly close into my tear duct just to match that picture and that's what it should look like. So I've cleaned that brush again and I'm just going to intensify the inner corner highlight. So just to finish off this look, I did the rest of my face makeup and I put on some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and some MAC False Lashes. So thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content and don't forget to have a look at my Instagram. Thank you, see you next time.